In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct multi group analysis at the structural level in Smart PLS using their CBSEM methods. So I will go to a latent structural model, and assuming I do have groups specified in my data, I will go to calculate, and there are a couple things we can do here. There's multi group analysis that just runs both models. I'll show you that real quick. It doesn't actually create a p value or any test of difference, but we'll run that real quick. So you pick your groups, say how you want them compared. I just want weak invariants, the loadings compared, and hit start. It runs, and you can see the structural model, standardized path coefficients. We can toggle between those and see how those compare. We can also go up here and see the final results and look at the path coefficients for both. Here's early, here's late. We can see the p-values for each of those, but these are not comparison p-values. These are just p-values for those paths. We can also see the specific indirect effects, the mediation for both, and we can see quality criteria such as reliability and validity for both, as well as model fit for each, although it doesn't produce all of the model fit metrics, and model fit for the model at large. Now, while that is useful, it is not as useful as an actual test of comparison. So to do a test of comparison, we need to use the multi group model comparison feature. However, when you run this, it's not going to do anything special unless you've constrained a path to be equal across groups. So let's constrain a path. Let's take a look, see which ones are most different. I'm just going to toggle back and forth here. Looks like we have a few that are moderately different, including this path right here and this path right here. Let's start with this one right here. I'll just double click it and say equal for all groups and apply and run this again. Now I only want to do this one path at a time so that I can see how the base model compares to a model where only that one path is forced to be equal. When I run a chi square difference test on that, it will tell me if constraining that path to be equal worsens the fit. And if it does, well, then those paths are not equal. And so we can say that they are different across groups. So we do MGA model comparison. The comparison file is that original model, compare early to late, look at the compare tab, and I'm just estimating with factor means fixed to zero. And I'm doing weak invariance, just loadings on both. Start that calculation. And we get a visual depiction of both because it is doing a comparison. And we can see that the original model is here, the compared model is here, and it is currently on early, I can switch it to late. But notice this doesn't change because I have forced it to be equal. Everything else changes. But what I can do is go to the model fit comparison likelihood ratio test. And like with our invariance test, we want to look at the p value for the chi square difference. We see here that the p value is non significant, meaning that those paths are invariant, meaning they are equal which means that there is no significant difference between those two paths across these groups. So if I had a theory that said that they were different, that theory would not be supported. I can also take a look at the delta CFI and see that they are the same. The CFI is 0.882 in both models, so there is no change. Let's try that other path just in case. So I just go back, unconstrain this one, and do constrain this one. Again, do it one at a time so you're not confounding things. Run this exact same analysis. Start. And just jump over here. And we can see, oh, hey, look at that. That is a significant p-value, meaning that the model fit did change. And so those two paths are significantly different across groups. And so what we can say is over here in model two, the original model, we can take a look at early versus late for late. It is a weak positive path, and for early, it is a strong negative path. And that is how you conduct multi group analysis in CBSEM in Smart PLS.